Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a quick hit. We're going to jump into this monthly rivals, Las Laderas, and we're going to post a clean lap. That means that we cannot hit any walls, miss any checkpoints, or rewind. We're going to take the 1980 Lotus Esprit Turbo, the stock version, around Las Laderas, 3.9 miles. There it is. Such a sweet rod. I actually think that's pretty cool. I love the wedge shape to it. Very, very 80s. It screams the 80s. Off to a very slow start, it seems, but we're already going 50, so that's pretty good. 258 I've got to beat. Smooth and steady, I think, is the key here. And don't let off the throttle because... Well, up here is a 90 degree turn. You can let off there. But yeah, we got to keep it buried because this thing has no horsepower, like 200 with a turbo. A little slidey, but I'll take it. We advanced past the ghost. I don't know if they're going to catch up or not. There we go. Putting a little bit of breathing room between us and second place. I just don't want to be overly cautious and break too much. It's fine to slide around, but you don't want to get into anything that will slow you down. And you definitely don't want to leave the track. The course. The road. I don't really remember this course. I'm really trying to search my memory here. And yeah, they're way back there. It's awesome. This thing drives so weird. It's the opposite of forgiving. Like, you cannot slow down. You have to be on it. You've got to hit your apexes. Your apex... I, your, your, what? Apices. There we go. I got it. Oh, shoot. Yep. There's what I said not to do. We're spinning. Here comes the ghost. I had an awesome time, but now, now look at me. You really get to think about life and your, your life's choices when you're driving this car. You know, they say at the end of life, the, your whole life your whole life flashes before your eyes. Yeah, this is the opposite of that. This is like you're in a waiting room. You just think about things. Too much time to ponder. Okay, that was cool. That was pretty epic. We got some slidey action. And this thing still sucks in its stock form. But... If you want to, you can go back and check out the trial video where we won this car for the first time and then I just smashed it with a bunch of mods, fully, fully tuned rally, fully tuned turbo rally and like seven or 800 horsepower. I have no idea, but there we are. We won. We got it. It's all good. Leveling up 175,000. I believe that was the, the good one and we got it. Post a clean time to Las Laderas, Las Laderas complete. And we get the NSX RGT. Yes. We can also do this Time Lord. Take a photo of your car at night. Let's see here. Will this count? I'm just going to smash a photo. Get out of here. Is it nighttime? It is. Which is a rare thing. But if it wasn't, you can go to up on the D-pad. You can hit Y and you can go down to time of day. And I just so happened to be in night, so that's awesome. You used to have to wait around to get those. But now we can just change time of day, and it's so cool. But anyway, there you go. We finally made it into the, uh, the final car there for winter dry season. Now pretty soon, in one more day, we still have Wednesday to hit, we're going to be going to the spring hot season, the last season of Horizon Retro Wave. So, going to be pretty cool. We get a Citroen that is 80s as you can be, ugly as you can be as well. Uh, we also get the GMC Cyclone. 
we get an M1 as the weekly car. Why do all these cars look the same? The Lotus Esprit, the M1, the DeLorean, the uh, Envision 74, they're all just that shape. It's cray. Anyway, it looks to be pretty good. Only one event lab. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay. It's just more fun when we have three or more for the event lab showdown, especially if they give it to us. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I've got to take some kids to football practice, but I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Later.